once you really look, you can see, of course, nature hides them. Yeah, it looks like there's at least 20 or 30 right there. What I enjoy most about the, the monarch butterfly thing is, is that it, it keeps me interested in something that's bigger than myself. It gives Mary and I something to do with our time. And monarchs, and not just the monarch butterfly, but we deal with all kinds of different butterflies. We just enjoy the butterflies. We enjoy nature. That's why we live out here where we live. So we're in a situation right here in, in Jonestown where it's a perfect place to be known for butterflies. And that's, that's what I hope to get Jonestown known for. Craig said, wouldn't it be nice if we would see more uh, flowers on our way um, through, through town? So he just started planting things in front of town hall and in front of businesses which would allow him to do that. And we would kind of sneak in plants that we knew were friendly to the butterflies. We're hoping to eventually have a, a actually have a butterfly festival here every year. How far away do they go, do you know? Far, far away. To the North Pole? No, they go the other yeah. way. They go to Mexico. What happens is more people get involved, and the, the teachers order little caterpillars for Monarch Watch, or uh, people like me will take caterpillars on plants to the classrooms. These are their paintings this morning of the chrysalis, and their leaves, and their, where the silk, remember the little button of what? Yeah. Now there's some How do they hang? How do silk. they hang? Silk. Right. Silk. They hang silk. from the button of silk. silk. This is actually the, the flyway, we call it, for the monarchs. All the monarchs east of the Rocky Mountains fly right through here, about 150, 200 mile swath through central Texas to get to these mountains in Mexico. There's a lot of people involved in the monarch butterfly thing all over the country and the monarch migration. People are out here at um, Balcones Canyonlands, Doskin Ranch for a variety of activities, but one of the major activities is to catch and tag and release butterflies. So we're going to take a sticker right here and put it right on this. This is number 12. This has actually an email address and a serialized number two on it. And you want to let it go, baby? Are you ready for this? I can. Okay. There it goes. <laughs> It's a project that is made um, possible through Monarch Watch because Monarch Watch uh, supplies them with the little tags that go on the butterflies. The butterfly will then migrate to its wintering grounds in Mexico, and if someone finds it there, they'll report the butterfly via the serial number and call the phone number, and we'll, they'll be able to track where it was released from and where it was found. We've been really successful today. We've tagged over 100 butterflies. And uh, last year we didn't do too good, we tagged eight. We have, we have a butterfly tent that we have about six or eight different species of butterflies up there that the, the kids can go in, or even the grown-ups if they'd like, go in and, and uh, look at the butterflies, compare the different butterflies. My, I think my favorite butterfly is the buttercup. The yellow one. Mine's the monarch. Oh yeah, mine is too. Oh no, can we get on the butterfly tree? I would really like to keep some, but I know I can't. Butterfly populations go through cycles. Some years you'll have good numbers of monarchs, some years you'll have bad numbers of monarchs. Their habitat is declining where they winter in central Mexico. Uh, the habitat is getting cut down, the trees are getting uh, felled. Um, but you also need habitat throughout the, the year. Uh, while well, they're up in the United States, so you need good habitat from Texas all the way up into Minnesota, and then the monarchs even go up into Canada a little bit. From thousands of feet up, these butterflies see our plants, and they come down and nectar on them. We have hundreds of these butterflies stop here every year to fuel up another 700-mile journey to Mexico, so it's, 
It's pretty phenomenal, these little, these little bugs are phenomenal little creatures. Become a DocuBlogger. Log on to DocuBloggers.org to share your opinions and story ideas, or get out your camera and create your own DocuBlog.